This week on Hook and Harvest, we're going to be heading out for doll sheep with my buddy Boris. We're going to try and get his first sheep with a bow. I'm excited. I'm very excited. It's a really good zone to be in. It's a bit of a battle to get into the zone, but as soon as you're in there, it's, uh, it's Ramapalooza. Boris is an experienced rifle hunter. He's done multiple solo big game hunts and is extremely resourceful in the backcountry. I feel grateful to have the opportunity to be alongside him for his first bow hunt, and I have so much to learn from him as a hunting partner and friend. I'm here to do anything that I can to support him in having a successful hunt. Tough at this distance, feel very confident that's around, just no idea on age or size, but he's in a very good location. Boris was able to get a head start in the morning, getting out and on the glass to get us one step closer to finding a target ram early in the day. I caught up with him a few hours after his departure and I was excited to see what he had found. What's going on, man? I see the spotting scope up, so that's probably good news. Lots of good news, man. Oh, that's good. Came at a good time. Yeah, what are, yeah, we, what are we looking at? Well, we got three rams, all in isolation in different spots. We got one close on this arm. Okay. Um, which is nice. I'm, I'm looking, he, he, he looks interesting, real interesting. Be nice to get closer on him. Got two other on that far ridge. It's a ways away. Ways away, but okay. Nice to see them the out and about. This one's uh, close? Yeah, yeah, have a look, man. Just this arm right, right in front of us. It looks like it's a pretty nice ram. Yeah, man. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, that's, that's what you hope to see. Yeah. We got eyes on uh, on a target ram. He looks uh, he looks good. Uh, but we're below them, so uh, when you're below a ram, they typically look a little bit bigger than uh, what they would look like kind of up close. So it's important to get a bunch of different angles when you're going for sheep. So I think we're just going to continue our plan, probably gain a little bit more elevation. It sounds, it sounds like Boris has been eating Mountain House for six days. Right. But still, it's all left over from that last hunt, man. Been on a steady mountain house since August 1. 
Right, so we found a uh, small mountain stream. Um, I had come to this place earlier in the month, late July, to scout it, and there's a water source real close to the top, and it was great. And uh, it's almost completely dried up, but just enough so we can try to fill our bottles. So just trying to collect what we can from the stream. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. Sheep country requires you to get out of your comfort zone and into areas you would never otherwise find yourself. Being able to see this landscape from a sheep's perspective gives you a whole new appreciation for the mountains and the places that they call home. This is tough country. The reality of mountain hunting is you're carrying 70 to 80 pound packs and gaining a humbling amount of elevation.
this area here, there was three, and then the fourth one kind of amalgamated with it last night, late, late last night. So we're dropping elevation, getting into saddle, going back up, trying to get uh, just to the other side of this kind of spine so we can see over. Suspect they're kind of feeding in that other area. So off we go. shot a ram, got two shots, not sure if any of them were where we really, really needed them to be, but uh, we've got blood in a good spot, uh, but uh, it might have, might not be in the vitals, we're not sure yet, but we've got eyes back on them after we've lost them for about an hour, it doesn't look very good, so I anticipate that he might expire where right where he's at. We're gonna give him some time rather than maybe bump him. So um, we're just gonna relax here for a little bit. Um, and uh, that's kind of just the harsh reality of bow hunting. It's, it's what happens. Um, you know, with a, with a rifle, you can shoot it from 350 yards. You, know, you can hit a target that's like this big. There's so many other things when it comes to bow hunting. Uh, out there, it's, it's not easy and it's not for the pain of heart because things happen that go awry and it's uh, it's an emotional roller coaster but let's just see how this pans out. 
At this point, the sheep stood up and changed location, putting the ram in a position where we no longer had eyes on him. He appeared to be heading down the ridgeline, losing elevation. We decided the best thing to do was for Boris to split off with a light pack, taking only the essentials to get him through the day. Meanwhile, we kept our elevation, glassing throughout the valley, doing everything we could to keep eyes on the ram. As things progressed, the sheep pushed down, and we were forced to collect camp and go attempt to make it back to Boris before nightfall. Splitting a third person's gear between the two of us made for a challenging descent in poor light, but we needed to get camp down to Boris and regroup as a team. We have what looks to be like a sick uh, sheep, so um, it's just pushed down and pushed down and pushed down. So um, we've got eyes on him, it's good. It's late, sun is down. You know, we've got probably half an hour till dark. Um, Boris has been on the move all day. We've kind of been eyes in the sky. We've got about a kilometer to push uh, side hilling through some gnarly here. So um, we're gonna put this away and, uh, and get over there. It'll most likely be dark when we arrive, so. Um, we're just going to move slow, pick our way through this, and and uh, and meet up with uh, with Bo. He's, he must be absolutely exhausted. So, um, yeah, it's nice to see that he's still there, and uh, he's not looking well. So, this is good. feels heavier when you take it off and put it back on, but it, it feels heavier than it did four minutes ago. All right. I'm coming, Bobo. Yeah, I mean, it was, it, was, it was crazy you had eyes on him last night. As soon as he made that last push deep, I'm like, that's gonna be hard to find. Yeah. So at least we got a last known location and he is just going straight down. So if we follow drainage down, I, I, I think we've been watching everything close enough that if he had made any move out of this valley, we would have seen him. Yeah, totally, yeah. Yeah. All right, well, let's so do that's it then. Plan. Yep. Yeah, sounds good. Much better than that. 
Ja, wat denk je eerst, Bob? Certainly nine. Certainly, Certainly nine. nine, maybe ten. Awesome, that's exactly what we're looking for. Yeah. Thank you, brother. Sorry it took so long.